Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday to you. You guys, let me know when you pop on. This is Deb with Art and Grace, and I am in the craft round the clock this morning. So uh, I know that Tracy will get me shared over to that group. If you're not in the craft round the clock group, you're missing out. So if you go up to the top of the description in this video, you will see how to get in that group. It's a free group and you can see crafts all day, every day. It's an amazing group. I'm getting me pulled up over here on the computer. Somebody say, hey, let me know if you can hear and see me. Good morning, Cindy. Okay, good. I can see you. Can you hear me okay? Always have to check. Okay, I see hearts. That must mean yes. I have something fun for y'all this morning. We're going to paint some beautiful wildflowers. And I'm going to show you, hi Tammy, how easy this is. You can do it. So I have so many people who are telling me, I get messages or comments that say, I can't paint. That's beautiful, but I can't paint. I am here to tell you, yes, you can. You can paint. So I will give you a tracer. You can just trace what I've done. If you don't feel comfortable just freehanding it, which I totally understand. Good morning. Hi, Jean. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Trita. Hi, Jessica. Helen. And I'm so glad you're here. Hi, sweet Tracy Campbell. Thank you for being here and for getting me shared over. I appreciate you very much. Hi, Patricia. Christina. I hope you're feeling good today, Christina. Paula. Debbie. Good morning. Tammy, thank you for the stars already. Wow, I appreciate you so much. Okay, thanks, Lisa. I always want, I want somebody to confirm. So, do y'all think you can paint this? because it's easy. It really, really is. So let's get going. So what this is, is just a uh, wooden board. Let me show you like this. So <clears throat> it's just wooden slats stapled together and it's got a jute hanger. And I have done this one. I did this one last night for a you know little sample and I did it white and I love it. You could write joy or something on it, but I kind of like it just like it is, but you know, it's totally up to you. And then today, I thought I would try another color just to show you another option. So I've already done the base of this one in this beautiful blue. So here we go. Let's see. Thank you, Trisha. Oh, Tammy, I'm so happy to hear that. And I hope that you are learning that it's easier than you thought, right? And we have 40 people. Good. Thank you guys for spreading the grace. So if you are um, on here right now and you want to get this sprinkled out to more people, hit that button and send it out. Hi, Linda. Good morning. Hi, Nancy. Y'all tell me how your weather is. It's really gloomy here in Fort Worth today. We're going to get rain. Y'all, I, I did the base coats this morning and got all into paint, so I hope I don't have it all over me, but that's okay. Isn't it a pretty blue? This one is aqua sky. It is gorgeous. I didn't add any, usually I add some white in there, but it was the most beautiful color. Um, I just, almost like a Tiffany blue or something. I just loved it. So we're going to just get some basic. Yes, April, isn't it? We're having allergies. I hope y'all aren't. Oh, good, Michelle. You already have a board. Awesome. Hi, Dina. This is kind of your color, isn't it? I always think of you when I see these sweet blue and pink and your blouse yesterday was so beautiful. Um, you just have, I love all the colors you love. So I'm gonna grab an angled brush. Um, you know, brushes do make a difference. So I love using deco art brushes. I also love using um, deco detailed brushes. This is one of my older ones. I should grab a newer one, but it's got this, here, let me grab my newer one. It's got this nice handle so that your fingers just fit well in there. But all I'm gonna do is I've got my two greens and I'm gonna make a little darker green. So I'm just gonna bring some green with some black over here and get kind of a really dark. I might need a little more green. Good morning, everybody. Y'all just come on in, say hi. A lot of you guys know each other. I love it to see, you know, when I go back and read comments and you're Hey, so-and-so, how are you this morning? It's so cute. And you know, that's how I love the online community because we do all become friends. So all you have to do, guys, is just start getting some greenery on here. 
we're just gonna kind of come up with our brush and make a, a leaf shape. Now I'm doing this upside down, so forgive me if it becomes a little wonky. You will be doing this right side up and it will not be that way. But all I'm doing is putting the, the darker color first, then I go back with a little bit of my Kelly Green. Oh, you, can you see my palette? Kelly Green and my Lime Green, and just adding that over the top. So let's do another one here. And I'll switch brushes in a minute. I, I tend to always stick with the same brush and just kind of make it work, but I, I will need to switch brushes here in a minute. So we're just getting some leaf shapes down first. I'm gonna come back in here with my lime and my, uh, my green, Kelly green, and just kind of put some color in these to give them interest. Don't over blend or it just becomes one solid color. And y'all keep, keep chatting, keep talking, ask questions, I'll answer them. If I don't answer them you know, right now while I'm painting, then I'll go right back when I'm done and answer them then. Now this one, okay, so I am happy to send you guys a kit where it's got the the board and the paints and all and the brushes and all that. Um, if you don't have supplies, it's a really handy way to get them, um, you know, where you don't have to go out shopping for stuff. You can just have it all delivered to you. But I know a lot of you guys are on here because you're creators and crafters and you have this stuff. So, you know, you wouldn't have to do that. But let me know. I've got a, a link up in the description if you're interested in just having me send it to you. It just makes it easy. A lot of people do that if they work and don't have time to go hunting for things and they just want it mailed to them. It comes with, uh, like I said, the paint, the board, the brushes, and a tracer. So you can just trace if you choose to. Um, I'm kind of doing a lot of winging it here, but it's just because of time's sake because, you know, we are limited on time right now. So I want to be sure I can get this done. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over this leaf because I think I want a big one right here. So we'll just paint right over that little leaf I did. It can stick out, that's even more realistic if it's sticking out a little bit anyway. I wanna get a few of these larger ones for the background. And like I said, um, you will get a nice neat tracer that matches more of the one that I did last night. Oh, I want to talk to you guys. Yes, um, Kim, I can give you all the tracer. Yes. Let's see here. Good. Um, if you're in my VIP group, you are always get the tracer. I do the tracer for anything that I do. They get the tracer immediately. I'm gonna go back and add a few leaves of other shapes too. But I, I just like to show you guys how with the right brushes and the right paint, and you know, you can you can do this too because you're really letting the brush do the work. That's my, I don't know, it's become my catchphrase because it's true. You're just making these little kind of football shapes just to fill in the background and get some leaves on here wherever you think, you know, now I'm just doing a uh, kind of winging it today to show you, I'm not gonna follow a pattern, but you could follow the pattern if you want to. But just with a few colors, you're getting a lot of different variety on here. I'm gonna put a little white down. Hi, Marion, glad you did catch me live. Good morning to everybody, happy Monday morning. Hi, Nilda. We are gonna make this a good day, even though it's cloudy and gloomy here. Um, oops, that was too much white. If you get too much, I'm gonna do a little bit of white in these, and if you get too much, no big deal. You just go back over it, y'all. See, you can just, you know, kind of keep working with it until you get the color you like. I do like to go back and add a little bit of white on some of these. It really makes them stand out and gives them some more interest. So I'm just kind of barely touching my brush down with some white on it. I 
I did too much. See, like that, I'm just coming back over it and kind of. Okay, I think we're ready to move on. I just needed a background of some greenery here. And then, oh, let me do some stems. So grab a small detailed brush and all of the things that I use and love are in my Amazon store or um, the best place to find it. Let me see if I can put it real quick. I never think about this before the, until I'm talking and then I'm like, oh, I should have given them my website so they can find this stuff. Well, I can't do it fast enough. Y'all, I'm slow with that but it, I'll just type the name of it. That will be faster. Okay. So my website is just www.artgracepaint.com and I just typed that on there. Um, let me unpin that. Now you're not gonna be able to click on this and it won't take you there since I didn't type out the whole thing because that would have taken too long, but it's easy to find and that's where all the things are. So there's a page on my website that has all of my favorite supplies and that is where you can, you know, find my brushes or paint or anything. So just, you know, this is not even a huge deal to put these stems because you're gonna come and put flowers over the top of this but I mean, I'm still gonna try to make it look somewhat correct here with some, okay, that's all. Just simple, simple, simple. Okay, let's get this dry and I'll look at some comments. You guys say, hey, let me see. Oh, Trisha, you're so sweet, thank you. Y'all are awesome. You joined the VIP group. Kim, did you not get in yet? Because everybody who's joined has gotten an email and a message in Messenger from me trying to get them in. So if you're one that hasn't gotten in, hi Suzanne, glad you're here this morning. Hi Rosie. So Kim, let me know. Send me a message and then I can send you a link. But you know how if we're not friends yet on Facebook, it just goes and sits in the Never Never Land waiting for you to approve it or whatever. Okay, let me turn this toward me so I can get the design kind of sketched on here. And then I promise I'll turn it back toward you so y'all can see. So let's see. I just kind of want to get, these are wildflowers, y'all. That's the neat thing too about the kind of paintings I do are fun and they're not perfect and they, I just kind of thrive on the imperfect because I think it's a perfect analogy for us. We're not perfect and we're beautiful. Our art doesn't have to be perfect and it can still be beautiful. So um, I'm not gonna be teaching, you know, technical things. I didn't go to art school, but I have friends that did and I can refer you to them if you're wanting to learn some of that stuff. Uh, this is for relaxation and to make friends, you know, we have a sweet group of ladies and, you know, so that's why I do what I do. Um, most of you have probably heard my story. If you're new to me, again, welcome. I'm Deb, <laughs> if, if I haven't met you before. But I got into uh, teaching art online because I was doing paint parties, but the whole reason I even started doing paint parties was to give women a, a way, an outlet for their stress and, um, sorry, it's hard for me to draw and talk evidently. Uh, my mom passed away with Alzheimer's back in August of 2019. And, but going through Alzheimer's with her was the, you know, hardest thing I've ever had to do. It was horrible to watch. Um, so heartbreaking. I know many of you know and have been through that too. Um, and in June, I do a big fundraiser for the Alzheimer's Association. So if you have a heart for that, you guys, please just touch the screen, hit the three buttons, hi Wendy, and um, follow me so that you'll hear about it and you can be a part of it. If you are an artist or a crafter 
and you might like to be a part of it, let me know. I really, you know, just think that we all have been affected by it. So anyway, that's kind of my rough sketch for our flowers. We're just doing simple wildflowers, y'all. You can do this. Everybody can do it. Um, but anyway, we, we all need an outlet and we need friends and we need support. And so that's what I'm about. You know, it's not about the technical art. It's about fun art that helps you relax. So if you might be interested, then come along for the ride. Just follow my page and, um, and I'll give you lots of ideas and inspiration and hopefully bring some joy along the way. I know my ladies will. They're so sweet. We have the best group. I'm just going to get down a few colors here. Let me get some white. Also, in if you choose to get an art kit today, which is the board, the tracer, carbon paper, a couple of brushes, and all the paint, um, the paint comes in these little paint packets like this. So they're already, you know, pre-measured. I give you more than you actually need. Um, and that's how the paint will come. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a round brush. Actually, let me do the larger ones first. This one's probably a number five when you look at it. I tend to always grab my number five. I love it. It is, Tita, but man, you know, I always say that we grow through the hard stuff. You know, when everything's fine and your life is just going fine and you don't have any issues, you know, I mean, you're not growing. You're just sustaining and, and moving along, right? But when you go through something like that, it just changes you. It really does. And, um, and it did me, and so that's when I just pivoted my whole life, <laughs> quit my corporate job and, and started doing this. And I'm so, so happy. I love what I do and I love sharing with you guys. Thank you for the stars. What the heck? Thank you, thank you, and thank you for sprinkling. I go back every time. Oh, Linda Sue, I love you. I go back every time and look because I appreciate you guys so much. Okay, let's start with the bigger pink flower up here. I just, you know, what I did was I just kind of mixed my colors to get a pretty pink that I like, but I, I am, you know, I usually will send you guys uh, all the colors. So if, if pink is in this, I'll send you a, a pretty pink that matches. Um, but anyway, you get everything in the kit if you choose to go that way. But if you have had somebody that um, close to you with Alzheimer's, you know how stressful it is. And um, trying to be a caregiver, uh, a daughter, you're, you're kind of grieving the whole time because you see them slipping away um, and you can't do a thing about it, you know, you're, and you see them suffering and it's just really hard. So you need an outlet and art is a fantastic one if you don't have something. But so is crafts, and I do crafts as well. In fact, you know, I'm probably 50-50. I do both. I, I love both. I do both. And You can paint right over your leaves. You want those in, in the background, though. So... And I think I'm gonna add a little red to that pink and come over here and do this big flower here. You're letting your brush do the work. Can y'all see this? I hope you can. <clears throat> but I'm just letting the brush kind of make this wonky shape because we're just doing, you know, you're gonna look at this. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I think I need coffee. It's allergies. <laughs> I'm on cut two. Usually I'm done with it by now, but I was doing other things this morning. Add a little bit of white in here. I'm gonna come and touch my yellow and just add a little yellow. So as you're painting, you don't have to just use one color. You don't have to, you don't even have to do it the way I do it. You can make yours all kind of colors. You could make blue bonnets on here. You can do whatever you want. And then let's add some more yellow to this pile and we'll get more of a little orange color. 
you can't drink coffee, Suzanne. I've seen you say that before, which just, it's just stunning to me. <laughs> like, what in the world? I love coffee. I don't love it as much now that I'm drinking it black, but I do really love it, and I, I would hate to have to give it up. I don't think I drew any of these little um, blotchy flowers that I like to do, so I'm just going to put some in down here. So it's just kind of touching down with an irregular shape with your round brush. That's all. That's all, guys. That's why I tell you that my type of art you can do. There's nobody, unless you're, you know, unable to hold a brush. That's different. But, I mean, if you can hold a brush, you can do this. And when people comment and say, well, you just make it look so easy. I just want to go, but it is easy. My type of art, you know, it's, it's just, sh think of everything like a shape. So your leaves are kind of rectangle. You've got like a rectangle, let's say, but then you're making it into a point at the top. So if you break things down into shapes, it's a lot easier to, um, you know, maneuver. Okay, let's add a lot of yellow. I would technically probably add more yellow. And then we're gonna do these leaves right here, but we're gonna come up back on top of them with some yellow too. Not leaves, um, petals. I promise, um, I've seen some comments when I look up and I see a few and I will go back and answer them. So no, don't worry. If you're asking me something, I will tell you. You're just letting the brush do the work, guys. See, I'm pressing down and then lifting up to make a little tip of the flower petal. Press down, lift up. I like to bring it onto the base too, you know, like through the cracks here. I just think it looks kind of cute that way, but totally up to you. Coffee and bagel, Tracy. Oh, that sounds great. Hi, Diane. I'm glad you're here. Welcome. You will, you will enjoy the community, if nothing else. This, I have the sweetest ladies that follow me and that are super supportive of me and my work, and I'm just so grateful for them. Every day, I'm grateful. Now, we're going to go back over this with yellow. And I need a new yellow. I <clears throat> have used this sunny day all spring. Well, you know, all of my paintings I've done for spring. It's a beautiful sunny color. It's perfect, perfect name. I'm just gonna go back over my pinky kind of orangey color with this yellow and make this a yellow flower. But I like having that as a base. It peeks out. Um, usually the edges, I leave a little bit of the edges to show. And um, it just kind of gives it a natural outline. And it just gives it interest to have the two colors. If you notice, I didn't change my brush either. I'm using the same brush. So I started the flower with this. I didn't clean it. I just put the yellow right on top of it. And that's it. Let's come do this other one. So are you guys watching me from the Craft Around the Clock group or are you watching me on my page, Art and Grace? Which one?
Oh, hi, Judy. Glad you're here. I wish I could just sit and, and read the comments out loud and talk, um, but I do need to try to hurry because of time. It's always nerve-wracking when you know you're on a time limit. Let's do one more here. And then, oh yeah, I do have a couple more. Howdy ho. You know, my kids went to A&M and the phrase there is howdy. So I went years saying howdy all the time because that's just, you go on campus and as you're walking, the kids, the professors, anybody will be like, howdy. And you're like, howdy. <laughs> it's just their little catchphrase thing. I don't know. And so I love howdy. They, um, that was the funnest school. I loved a and um, I know they get a lot of heat and a lot of jokes, but um, gosh, it's a fantastic school. It was anyway when they went there. I haven't honestly kept up with it since they left, but um, my son did good, you know, uh, got a business degree. My daughter did really good. She maintained a 4.0 the entire way through. I do not know how she was stressed out a lot because she worked really hard for it. It wasn't like she was uh, naturally, I mean, she worked for that 4.0. And it was amazing to see because it took a lot of effort, you know. But I was very proud, proud mama. I couldn't have done it at all, no way. Those jeans came from her daddy. So just taking this yellow right back on top. Nothing, I'm not doing anything special, y'all. That's why I tell you, you can do it. You're just letting your brush do the work and going right back over what you've done with this yellow. And I just love the look of it, having the two colors kind of peeking through. And a lot of times I will go back a third time. So once this kind of dries, see how I'm doing right now? I'm just kind of going back over with some more yellow and not everywhere, just kind of adding it, adding touches of it. And that's my favorite part is when you have, basically you're having three colors because you've got you got the first kind of peachy color, then we went over with yellow, which kind of blended, and then you're going back over with another, with the same yellow, but again, which makes it darker in places. Do the centers real quick. Thank you, Marty, for sprinkling. Hi, Char. Good morning, beautiful lady. How are you today? I've been praying for you. I know um, how tired you must be. You have so much on your plate. Oh, Michelle. You're so sweet. I sure feel it. I do. It's just probably the hat is hiding my wrinkles or something. Because, yeah, I have a 30 and a 25-year-old. That's when you realize, wow. Like, when he turned 30, I was just, like, in shock. Like, how did this happen? How, how do I have a 30-year-old? I don't get it. Okay, so I've mixed a little bit of brown and black. I'm just going to kind of circle it in, kind of dotting it, because I like it to look kind of it you know, um, imperfect. Again, why I think that this type of art is good for people that are intimidated because it's not meant to be perfect, but yet it's still beautiful. That's the whole cool thing about it. Just kind of dotting it in and then I'll go back with a tiny dot of black and just kind of touch the black in Okay, let's move on. I want to get all of these flowers kind of colored in a little bit. 
so you guys can see. Yes, Jean, that would be beautiful. That sure would. Okay, well, I promise to go back and read your comments. It, it bothers me that I can't keep up with them, but I don't have a Kenny or a Bruce or a whatever you guys have to read my comments to me. My husband's working. He's don't got time to read for me. <laughs> Someday, when my page grows really big and we bring him home to work for me, how about that? I'm just kidding. That probably will never happen, but, you know, we can dream. Um, for colors on, I think I want a purple. Let's see, what did I do on my original? Let's see here. Yes, I did purple. I had to think about, this was what I painted last night, just to make sure I liked the design and everything. So, let's grab a purple. I'm going to do some purple and put out another little bit of white. Hi, Tony. Good morning. Oh, wow. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Patty, thank you. Oh, gosh. I am, I don't mind telling, I'm 55. 55. I can now get a Michael's discount because I'm considered a senior. Can you even? Like, that's rude. I'm not really a senior, am I? Okay. I think of, you know, my mom or, you know, somebody that age is a senior, not 55. It's time for me to replenish my paint stock. I'm so low of everything, but I do use everything to the last drop, so there's that. Okay, I'm going to take this white, mix with this purple, and get a, a lavender color. Of course, DecoArt has a beautiful lavender color. There's no need to mix, but I just, it's easy. So I'm going to take my purple and just kind of make these imperfect shapes right here. And then we'll go back over it with the lighter purple kind of in spots. And we'll do more to it. Um, let's do Go right over the leaves. It's totally fine. I'm using DecoArt paint. Um, I am an affiliate for DecoArt, but it's because I asked to be because I use their paint exclusively. I really don't use other paint. I love it. So I, you know, reached out and, and, and I already was a DecoArt, what they call a maker and a doer. They did a blog article about me and that's why I'm a, called a doer. Um, they talked about my Alzheimer's event and a little bit about my mom and my history and everything. And um, so I love the company. I love the paint. But anyway, you can see that it covers fantastic. You can go right over your, your leaves and it's it's totally fine. So um, I'm just taking a little bit of the dark and kind of putting that toward the bottom of these flowers. Kind of acts like a high, uh, a shadow, and then we'll do a little bit of the, the light and kind of go on top. But I just use my brush and let the brush do the work. Okay. And then these, let's do these up here. Using the same brush almost the whole way. Well, I think I am using it the whole way through besides the background. Oh, Patty, I, I was honored that they they wanted to do that. It really shocking. You know, I know I know there are more deserving people, um, you know, for them to write about. But it was really, really nice. Um, what colors did I do? I did red. Okay, let's do red. Oh, well, it's on my website, theartgracepaint.com. If you go to that website, one of the pages says my favorite supplies. And one of them will say, uh, or it should say DecoArt. I believe I put it on there. Gosh, I hope I did. Um, and then I have some pinned to my Amazon page. So let's make these little red ones. 
I'll give y'all a tip. Anytime you're painting red, um, if you'll put some gray or white, I mean, I put gray usually because it, it is the preferred color underneath them, they will turn out better. They need a little bit of a base. Now we've got this blue, so that's fine. I didn't need to, but if you're just painting onto a canvas or something, put, try putting down some gray first and you'll see a difference. Y'all liking this so far? Does anybody feel like, oh, I'm gonna try it, I can do that. Or at least I'm gonna try. Grab a mixed media book or even a piece of cardboard from a box. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, just to try. Just, um, oh, thank you, Connie. Um, you know, just try on whatever you have at your house before you go, you know, invest in a lot of stuff. But if you want to paint one of these just like this. Now, I think after I did this, I was like, okay, this is perfect for spring, but it's also perfect for Mother's Day. How beautiful to give this to somebody for Mother's Day. Oh, Chris, good. Um, and you don't have to, like, my mom's gone, but we can give this to another mother, you know, maybe a, a widow or, you know, like, it's okay. You can still give gifts to, to other people just because your mama might be gone. And I think that that helps ease our pain, you know, when when you can do something for somebody else, despite your pain, then your pain subsides. I think God just blesses you and, and it makes you realize, I mean, they would be so proud of you for doing that too, so. So that's our little, we're doing good on time, y'all. I cannot believe that we are gonna get through this. Now, what I would normally do is come back with a little darker red down here and put at the bottom, and then just a little bit lighter red at the top of these flowers to give them dimension. And um, we're not gonna probably have time for all that, so I'm just gonna add some more red on here. But be careful when you do add a little lighter red, you um, don't wanna make a pink, you know, it'll turn pink real fast, so don't add a lot of white. Now I'm gonna take a little fine detail brush again, and we're gonna do a little bit of stem, some stems, and come back to my greens. Need a little more of this. Oh gosh, I wish I could read your comments, guys. When I look up, I'm seeing things like so true, so it's not something I can respond to, but. So I'm just mixing my green with a little bit of black to kind of get a darker green for my stems. And we're just gonna kinda See how I just kind of pretend it goes behind that flower and then. But again, I'll give you guys a tracer. So you, um, if you get the kit, you know, the tracer comes with it. Or if you're in the VIP group, you get the tracer to everything I do. And also, if you happen to be in the VIP group, and you want one of these kits, don't buy it with the link that I have in this description because you get the discount. Anybody in my VIP group gets the discount on anything that I do, anything that I offer.
only got three minutes. Okay, and then on these little ones, we'll just do small little. And then you can go back and add as much detail as you want to things. While I have it on my brush, I usually will kind of go around and add a little bit of detail. And this is just one coat. I would go back over some of these like these and add a little more. I hope that this inspires you. I hope, so that can this only be made if you in a group? Hi, Teresa. Oh, no, you can do this. I'm confused on that. Um, message me and, and ask me that, because I'm not sure what you mean. I'm gonna just pop over these with a little bit of a lighter color. Add some detail on this one. Maybe you're asking, can you get the tracer? I can definitely give you guys the tracer. I'll pop that in here in a little bit um, so that y'all can get it, if that's what you mean, and then you can paint it on your own. You don't have to be in the group to paint it. But just kind of adding some some colors with just adding white you know to your colors and adding some highlights gives it a lot of dimension there and then just touching it with some white my brush you know had had the colors on it I'm just touching it in a little bit of white to kind of give it some more highlights but that's it. That's the gist of it, guys. Easy peasy, right? You can do this. So don't say you can't do it. So what do y'all like better, the blue or the white? Y'all let me know. Blue or white? I like both for different reasons. And I guess it depends on who it's going to, if they like color or not. Oh, thank you, guys. Y'all let me know um, which one you like better. I just appreciate you guys. I want to help women relax with art and have fun with art. And so y'all sprinkling this out will help do that because you know there's somebody out there today right now who's having a bad Monday, who maybe got a diagnosis, maybe their parent has Alzheimer's, um, a child is sick, whatever. So, um, you know, I hope that we can spread these kind of videos out whoever it is, spread them out. And even if it's not your type of thing, it will be somebody's type of thing. And that's what we want to do is just inspire people, encourage people, um, bring a little joy. Okay, guys, my time is up. Go up to the description of this video and go to the Craft Around the Clock group. You can see all of the creators today and every day in that group, and it's free. Okay, guys, I'll come back and answer all your comments. Bye. Have a great day.